Right here, Neil. Straight ahead. Well, it means uh, the world to us because uh, she really wanted to do something for young emerging artists in theater, dance, and film, and she was never able to, to do it. And the fact that this foundation is now in its uh, almost its 35th year, um, and that we've been able to uh, help and recognize close to 800 uh, different young emerging artists in, in theater, dance, and film over these years is. I think a great achievement and uh, the fact that uh, the, her legacy goes on in that way and that uh, these very talented young artists have, m most of them have moved on to great careers uh, is, is a great satisfaction for, for all of us at the Foundation. This is extremely humbling. Um, you know, it's an honor to come from the Princess Grace Foundation. I was a, a big fan of Princess Grace growing up uh, when she was Grace Kelly, you know, one of our most uh, treasured icons of film and stage here in America. And um, her fairy tale wedding and what a beautiful life and then to be gone too soon. So to be gone too soon and to have a foundation erected in your name, what better organization to, to create than something that celebrates theater and dance, you know, and, and, and film, um, something she epitomized. And so to be part of that is just extremely, um, I feel really honored. And I'm really happy for all the honorees tonight and um, the winners tonight who will be continuing this tradition. You know, she's through this foundation people's lives are being fed, their creativity is being fed, and that's just an amazing thing to be able to, to bless someone with. Um, I'm here tonight to host the event, and I mean, basically it's something, I'm so honored and thrilled to be here and to be asked to host. Um, I just love what it's about. I love that these people get a chance and opportunity to do what they love in theater, arts, and film, and dance, and um, there's been 800 recipients and over covering over 11 million people that's amazing and I come from the background of theater arts so it's really just to get this opportunity is wonderful I'm really blessed to be here oh it feels amazing you know I remember the the guy that won the statue award that first year that I won was the guy that created SpongeBob SquarePants I remember standing behind him in line to walk up on stage and I'm just wondering, I wonder if I'll ever achieve anything, you know, sort of, um, if I'll ever be accomplished enough in my, in my career to, you know, receive such an honor. Will I ever create SpongeBob SquarePants? So not quite. Didn't create my own SpongeBob SquarePants, but it's very nice to, to have that full circle moment tonight. Uh, I've been a part of the Princess Grace Awards Foundation family for about 10 years. So to have their support constantly um, is just something that's wonderful and necessary and something I appreciate very much. Uh, I think it's so important for people to have support and believe that they can do it. We can't do it on our own. Um, sometimes we try to, but the support, um, not only as um, people encouraging you but also the monetary support is something that artists are, are in desperate need of so I think the, the the foundation is tremendous in that way. Prince Rainier uh, called me about three years after Princess Grace passed away and he said um, I would like for you to chair the, the first uh, inaugural Princess Grace gala and I sort of gulped and I said 
Thank you. I'm so honored that you asked me to do it. But you know, to to uh, to make money, you have to have money, and we don't have one red cent. He said, "I know, Lynn. That's why I'm asking you to chair it." <laughs> so we did. We did. I had it in Washington D.C. and it was great. You know, since Monsieur Dior himself, uh, he was, uh, you know, he was very involved with artists, these, uh, painters, architects, singers. So it's, it's beyond a brand approach. It's uh, the fact that this is uh, part of the heritage. So I think Mr. Dior asked us to continue uh, defending those values. And because uh, culture is important for a company, we are a culture house and culture is an important side of our own company, is one of the core value. So again, we're just continuing an old tradition of the, of the house. In 1955, she met Prince Rania III of Monaco, and her life changed forever. While she spent the rest of her life happily devoted to her husband and children, and the people of Monaco, her love for the arts never wavered. After her tragic death in 1982, Prince Renier wanted to create a living memorial to his beloved wife, gathering with few close friends to create the Princess Grace Foundation USA was born. In the ensuing years, Princess Grace Award winners garnered more than 400 prestigious nominations and wins. 47 award winners are artistic theater directors of dance companies and another 13 winners founded their own dance companies. I, uh, <laughs> Grace has long been my favorite word in the English language. I want to thank the Princess Grace Foundation. I want to thank His Serene Highness. It, because it feels like I'm at the start of something, I'm at the start of Act Two, it, it's, uh, it struck me tonight that here's Princess Grace Foundation once again, at the foundation of a new beginning where the slate feels wiped clean and God only knows what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna spend the next 15 years trying to make you proud all over again. Thank you so much for this honor. I'll cherish it, thank you. Throughout my 10 years, being a part of the Princess Grace Awards family, they have seen me take more than several evolutionary turns. In 2006, I was a young choreographer tiptoeing into a new world of discovery. In 2011, I was an artist with a full-fledged company that was more confident and less fearful of challenging my audiences. And now in 2016, I am all of these things plus a choreographer in musical theater. I teach students and my dancers about accessing their power, being bold enough to say who they are and what they are but power is never without exhaustion. Yet exhaustion opens the gateway to vulnerability and vulnerab vulnerability brings you to honesty. And through my honesty, I hope I am inspiring the next generation of black female choreographers and making the black women that have come before me proud. Thank you. Please welcome a woman who is an Olympic hero not only to the world, but especially in her native country, South Africa. A close, that's a country that's very close to my heart. A true philanthropist and has one of the biggest hearts. A soul sister, a friend. Please welcome your Serene Highness, Princess Charlene. Queen Latifah has ruled over the record charts for quite a while now. The first reigning female rapper she extended her queendom to include almost every genre of the entertainment industry, picking up awards for her singing, writing, and producing, as well as an Oscar nomination for her acting. Let's take a closer look as to just why she is to be crowned our very own queen tonight. Good evening, and thank you once again for being here this evening. I'd like to thank you for supporting uh, through your presence this evening and uh, the actions of the Princess Grace Foundation at USA and for your generosity. It's been a wonderful evening and uh, how proud my mother would be uh, to meet this immensely talented group of new award winners and to witness the evolution of some of our past highly accomplished award winners who are intricately woven into this evening's program. 
Princess Charlene and I are very honored to, pre to pre present the 2016 Prince Rainier III Award to Queen Latifah. <laughs> I think back to my mom, who was a high school art teacher, and I would watch her really change the lives of children through art. Maybe some thought it was just a craft, a project, but I would watch her develop their self-esteem and their spirit and their zest for life, and, and just the idea that they could dream big and go for it was something that they learned in her art class through her teaching, through them learning how to use their creativity and um, their hands and their minds and their spirits. And so I hope that uh, you continue to support the arts. Um, I won't keep talking too much. I'm just, like I said, I'm very humbled and very thankful to have been given the opportunity to be here tonight for such a great cause. Y'all be blessed. Peace.